All right. This is something I learned about in my 20s. I never really understood it until I had my DNA done. The United States of America is not a country, really. It's a corporation owned by the Virginia Company. 1604 Virginia Company was formed based on the purposes of establishing settlements on the coast of North America. The charter for the company started April 10, 1606 by James the Fifth, I'm sorry, James the Sixth and James the First, which is the same person. As James the First, he was the King of Scotland, and as James the Sixth, he was the King of England and the King of Ireland. So under this company, they are entitled under this company from the treaty they came up with, they are entitled to 50% of all the gold, silver, and other minerals and a percentage of profits from other ventures from the United States. So in 1620, there's a guy named George Calvert. He asked King James for a charter for the English Catholics to add the territory of the Plymouth Company. As the corporations, the company were, were empowered by the crown to govern themselves, and they ultimately granted the same privilege to the colony. In 1624, the Virginia Company failed. Its grant of self-government to the colony and was not revoked, but the crown allowed the system to continue, even though it failed. The principle was thus established that a royal colony should be self-governing. And this formed the genesis of the democracy of America we have today. After the Indian Massacre, which I call the Native American Massacre of 1622, which killed hundreds, the king revoked the company's charter and Virginia became a royal colony under his control. So the United States means a federal corporation and United States citizens are the employees and the employee numbers are the social security numbers that we are issued at birth. America is a British colony which existed before the Revolutionary War and the troops did not leave until 1796. The Treaty of Versailles, well, I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, so I'll spell it, V-E-R-S-A-A-I-L-L-E-S, which was 716-1782, was a treaty of peace. The King of England, the King of England financially paid for both sides of the war. The corporation never declared independence from King George. Therefore, the United States is still owned by the British Crown. The land and property of which you possess, that you believe that you possess, that you own, you don't actually own it. It's owned by the British Crown. Um, we have uh, SI 1997 number 1778, which is the Social Security that Queen Elizabeth amended. So when you fill out your 1040, form a percentage of that money is paid to Britain from the IRS publication 6209. The Constitution is based on just the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., not the United States. Police do not protect the citizens. They protect the corporation or the benefits of the corporation, period. The main Supreme Court is in Pennsylvania. It's the highest court of the land. And Britain is owned by the Vatican, based on the Treaty of 1213. That's why we follow the Pope and what he says so much. Because Britain was founded on Roman law, which the Vatican used, which goes all the way back to the Babylon days.